Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking, and in this lesson, we're learning a fingerstyle arrangement of What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. Okay, so this song is number 45 on my top 60 finger picking songs to learn of all time list. If you haven't seen it, it's in the description. I recommend checking it out. Uh, and if you like the songs, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these great lessons. Let's start learning What a Wonderful World. All right, so if you want to get the guitar tab for this song, it is on my website, sixstringfingerpicking.com, and that's down in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. So I really recommend uh, checking that out because you're going to find it so much easier following along. Anyway, first things first, we've got a capo on the fifth fret and we're in standard tuning. Um, the song is in the key of F. So what I'm gonna do, you know, this is an F chord, but it's a C shape. So I'm gonna be referring to the chords and in their, you know, when they're in their kind of visual shape. So we're gonna call this a C chord, even though it's not a C chord. Uh, we're gonna call this a, a minor chord, even though it's a, actually a D minor chord. So I hope that's all right. Um, but yeah, it's just easier for most people to do it that way. That's why we're going to do it. So anyway, the introduction. You've got a really short four bar intro and we're just playing C. And then it's, we're playing like an F with a C in the bass. It's actually, it's more of a minor seven, D minor seven with a C in the bass, but I've just kept it like this. Okay, so we're playing C and then F with a C in the bass. So that's, you know, you can think on the B string one and then two on the G, three on the D, but use your little finger for that and then play the three on the A with your third finger. So there are your two chords and you're just picking right through A, D, G, B, G, D. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then to the F, one, two, three, four, five, six. And again on the C, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I just rest on the A string there. So. And then you're in. Into the verse, which we're gonna look at right now. Okay, so let's first off have a look at the chords. Now you could just strum along C, E minor, F, D e minor, D minor, C, E7, A minor, and then this A flat, D minor 7, G, and then you've got this C. We'll get to these chords, they're a bit more fiddly. C augmented, F major 7, but we'll get to that and a G7. So the first four chords you've got a C, to an E minor, to an F, to E minor. Okay, and we're in sixes. You count everything in sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if you want to strum, make sure you get that kind of rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four, five, six. Four, five, six. Okay, so now this is a fingerstyle arrangement, so you don't have to play exactly as I'm playing it. I encourage you to kind of make it your own a little bit, and you don't have to play it note for note. And I think I probably mix things up virtually every time I play this. Um, so don't take the guitar tab as completely gospel. You know, you can, um, you really can fiddle around with it, and I encourage you to do so. 
So anyway, holding down the C chord, the first four bars go like this. C, E minor, F, E minor. So on that C chord, you've got... That's the melody. So hold down the C chord, play the A and the B together, and then D, G, B. So. Okay. Then on the way to the E minor chord, just catch the high E on the third fret of the high E, the third fret, yeah. Third fret. So you get. And then as soon as you do that, hold down an E minor chord, and you don't play the A string, so you don't need to uh, put anything on there. Just put your second finger on the D string and let this one ring on. So, and then we arpeggiate that E minor chord. So I've written E, D, G, B, G, D. So you've gone. And then we go to an F, you know, from the cage system shape, D shape, F chord like this. Um, so what am I doing there? I just hold down the third fret on the D string. And then third finger, you want to play the um, fifth fret on the G and then the same on the high E string. And then play D, G, B, and then D with the high E, and then the G, and then the high E again. So. so. Back to the E minor, we arpeggiate E, D, G, B, G, D, and put the high E string third fret with the very first note. So there's four bars once more. Let's move on now. The chords are D minor, C, E7, A minor. So on the D minor, you get, well, you get. Okay, so on the D minor, hold, play the D and the high E together, and then G, B, and then D and high E again together, uh, and then D, uh, sorry, G, high E, so. Okay, and then C, play the high E with the A string, and then arpeggiate, I just play, so together, D, G, B, G, D. Okay, so you've gone. And then E7, and play E, D, and then I play, I like to play two strings at the same time here. I play the G and the B, uh, with a pinky on the third fret of the B. Okay, so I'm playing the first fret on the G and the third fret on the B. So you play E, D, and then G and B, and then G and B again with the bass. D string and then G and B again. So but again, feel if you want to change some of the notes, feel free to. Okay, so you've got A minor. Holding down an A minor, play the A string, the G and the B together. G, A, B, B. Okay, and then you're out. That's that line. Moving on. You've got this A7. So you want to clamp down with your first finger, the first fret, the D, G, and the B string. And then little finger or your third finger wants to play the fourth fret on the E string. And I've written... That goes into... So holding down this A flat chord, play the E and the B together, then the D, B, E, B, D, so. And then the E and the B together, and then just arpeggiate the chord, D, G, B, G, D, okay? D 
minor seven this time. Okay, it's like an F, but take your third finger off. Um, D, G, B, high E, and then B, B. Okay, so. And then we're going to a G chord, G7, G. Um, play the E string, third fret, with open B. D, first fret on the B, E string again, and then third fret on the B string, and then the D again, so you've gone. Okay, so from the D minor seven. Oops, and then we get this. Okay, so this is the very end of the first verse, and then it goes back and you repeat pretty much all of the first verse, all of what we've done so far, apart from the four bars that I'm about to show you. Then there's a slightly different ending which leads you into the bridge after the second verse. But anyway, so end of the first verse you get... Oops. So let me show you that. C, and just arpeggiate the chords, you know, play the B string with the A string. D. We've got it's like a C augmented with a G flat in the bass. Um, so I'm holding down the second fret on the E, second fret on the D, and then first on the G and the B. Okay, and just arpeggiate the chord E D G B G D. It's a very tense sounding chord. F major seven. Okay, so that's just first fret on the E string and then first fret on the B string and two and two on the D and the G. It's exactly the same with the right hand. And then I just go to a G7 like this. I'm playing the third fret on the E, on the D and on the B and then the fourth fret on the G. And just like roll your fingers through that. Like that. And then you go back to the start. And then the whole verse goes through again and once you get to the A flat the D minor 7 you G you get a slightly different ending but it's easier so after the G you go back to C pick through as you did previously you know the A and the B string arpeggiate then you got that F slash C from the intro, arpeggiate for two bars, and then you go off to into the bridge, which is the If you want to learn how to play the bridge, you're going to have to visit my website, sixstringfingerpicking.com. As I said before, it's down in the description. It's completely for free, so you'll be completely bonkers not to go and check it out. So do that, and I'll see you over there. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. I really hope that you've enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and head over to sixstringfingerpicking.com, where you can get the remainder of this lesson and a whole load more fingerstyle guitar lessons. I'll see you over there. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.